Hi, my name is Christy Hu. In this video, I want to share my project that I completed in Communication Design 2 class in Spring 2021. Do you still remember the toys you liked to play when you were little? Is it Barbie, dolls, Roblox, or video games? In my project, I featured two subjects, Marina Abramovich and childhood, in my magazine, film, posters, and AR filters. I first started by researching Marina Abramovich. She is a well-known performance artist whose work is unique and very intense. Prior to researching her, I only know about her love story with Ule and her performance The Artist is Present. Through my research, I found out many other interesting projects she has done over the years. For example, she likes to use her body as the medium to communicate her thoughts and create a strong emotional connection with the audience. She demonstrates high tolerance of pain, exhilaration, and fear, which I really admire. I can see the power from her and I appreciate her being a bold, brave, and calm woman. She can accomplish things that most of us cannot do and challenge the norm. After researching Marina Abramovich, I started designing the magazine. First, I did three different directions, and I found myself drawn to the handmade textures and decided to go with that direction. In week four, I started implementing my contrasting idea. I chose childhood as my contrasting idea because I care about early childhood education and I would like to discover the impact of toys on children. I chose a color reveal Barbie, Play-Doh, and some figures in my project to create an imaginary world for children that brings them joy. For my magazine design, I use analog methods such as printing and scanning to distort images of Marina Abramovich, handwriting and making ink splashes. I chose a vibrant pink color to create a playful and vivid feeling and it comes across my entire project. For my contrasting idea, I set up the stage and photographed by myself. I really enjoy creating original artwork manually and took photo of it. I've also put Play-Doh on my face to create a connection with Marina Abramovich's uh, performance art. And in order to bring the Play-Doh world to the next level, I spring silver on top of it to create a feeling of outer space. This is the final magazine design. There are five articles in the magazine. The first two articles are about Marina Abramovich, and the last three articles are about um, children, education, and toys. After I completed the magazine design, I directed and filmed a short video to capture the vibe of my magazine. It's about a few kids accidentally discover the entrance to the imaginary world where they meet angels from fairy tales. Let's check out the film. Alright, and after that, I created two connected posters uh, using After Effects. What I enjoyed was creating my original soundtrack from the app Sync1, uh, which I also encourage you to try and explore. Finally, it comes to the most challenging part of this project, which was creating two AR filters using Spark AR Studio. I've never used this software before and I find it really challenging to learn, 
uh, even though I watch a lot of tutorials on YouTube, um, I thought I had to code in order to do cool effects and animation. But in fact, I'm really happy with my filters. They are simple yet creative. In conclusion, I really love my project. I had so much fun working with it. I explored various new methods and media. I learned to uh, mix two art styles, work with both static and animatic graphics, and push my original artwork to the next level. Working with Play-Doh is really fun as well because it's not only a toy for younger kids, but also a form of art for everyone. So I encourage you all to explore little things from your house, build something, and make something out of it. You will get unexpected results. Thank you for listening to my presentation. I hope you find my project inspiring. See you next time.